Welcome to the channel everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Today we're going to go through Remnant from the Ashes tutorial and Ward 13 and let's get into it guys. I skipped the opening cutscene and we're just starting off right from the beginning of the tutorial. Um, you're going through here, you're going to face, you know, five to ten enemies. It's just going to show you how to crouch, it's going to show you how to hit. It's going to show you everything you need to know. Um, dodging A is the only way to avoid attacks and there's no lock-on system for the melee you know, in Dark Souls you can hit you know right stick in and you lock on to any specific enemy a lot of people will be using the guns I'm sure but it, it did stick out a little bit to me also there isn't anything hidden here uh, I explored everything you'll see me cut off certain clips it's because I explored every aspect uh, you get one consumable here that the health potion uh, it wants you to take but other than that there's nothing else really in here so just keep pretty much going you can get through this in about you know five ten minutes max you'll get to another cutscene uh, once you get to that cutscene that's when you'll end up in the bedroom with this little boy talking to you So I skipped the cutscene, but the little boy says, Commander Ford found you washed up on shore, and she brought you in. If you would like a place to stay, she has a place for everyone. Uh, he says to go meet with her, and right here is a notebook, a journal. It kind of helps you understand a little bit about the, the story. Uh, you go down this hallway, and there's Commander Ford. Commander Ford says that they're missing a guy. He went down to turn the reactor on, and he hasn't been back. So... You're going to go down to find the reactor and try to turn it on. Uh, a couple of things here. Riggs and McKay were the two people that uh, we just saw. You'll meet them here in a little bit. Uh, you keep going and jump on every, you know, dodge every box. There's scrap. There's uh, iron. Things like that can drop. That's how you upgrade your weapons and everything like that. So you'll walk past Reggie. Uh, we'll meet Reggie again later. There's a directory that shows you where you can go. Go down the steps first level down there is where the reactor is uh, you're gonna end up meeting ace ace is gonna let you uh, pick your archetype between hunter scrapper and ex cultist so just keep in mind when you do select your uh, archetype here it doesn't necessarily matter the only thing that really matters is the weapon mod you'll get here shortly on uh, you can either get Hotshot, Mender's Aura, or the uh, Hunter's Mark. And Hunter's Mark marks all the enemies within the area uh, and has a better chance of a critical hit. The Hotshot can imbue uh, your weapon with fire, so it can set everybody on fire. And Mender's Aura just lays down you know, a large circle of uh, healing, you know, essentially. So you'll get like 10 health per second for, I think, 10 seconds. So that's really all that you're looking for here uh, you do get a long range weapon with a hunter short range with the scrapper and medium with the ex cultist I'm not gonna lie to you here I <laughs> it took me a minute to get into the shooting again uh, I haven't played a shooting game in a little while so I struggled a little bit uh, it, you do get used to it again if you haven't played in a while but you know you just kill all the enemies in the area then ace is going to come in i i'm not going to show the cutscene. she comes in and acts like she did everything because why not so then after you guys kill everything you're going to go ahead and go back up the steps and when you get back up the steps uh reggie's going to stop you and you're going to talk to him for a minute he's going to give you the dragon hearts which are essentially estus flasks from dark souls now we're supposed to go back to Commander Ford. You don't need to talk to anybody in this room. I talked to everybody, and then the last guy told me, guess you the commander. So you go up these steps, you go down uh, the hallway here, and you see Commander Ford again. So Commander Ford tells you you need to go see Riggs and McCabe. You leave the room, you turn right, you go down the steps. First door on your left is Riggs and McCabe. Riggs is going to give you uh, your armor, and McCabe is going to give you whatever weapon mod comes with your archetype so Riggs is in charge of weapon upgrades you use your scrap to get weapon upgrades and you can also do armor upgrades of course and McCabe who is honestly kind of a dick uh, she will do weapon mods for you so that's where you'd want to go for weapon mods in the future 
and it's very easy to equip the weapon mods you get. You click on the gun you want to put the weapon mod on, and then you hit X on the Xbox One or Square on the PS4. So now that you're all decked out with new gear and everything, you just need to go right back up the steps and see the Commander again. Commander Ford's going to give you a key. You're going to go back down the steps, past Riggs and McCabe, down the hallway, make a right, and that's where you're going to initiate a sequence in the terminal to open up the crystal, which acts as the checkpoint for Ward 13. This is where you'll go in and out from different worlds, different levels, and back to Ward 13. So anytime you get to a checkpoint on a level, you'll be able to come back here, upgrade your weapons, and everything like that. You're welcome back anytime. Good luck. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Go ahead and comment down below. If there's anything you didn't like about the video, please let me know. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. If you're a Remnant fan, I'm going to have more walkthroughs up over the next few days. And thank you very much again. Last but not least, I do have the giveaway for Remnant from the Ashes going on until the 19th, 9 p.m. The game comes out at midnight that night for PS4. Xbox One already has VIP access, if you guys didn't know. But if you're interested in the giveaway, I will post it down below. Thank you again. Take care.